there's nothing like it. It's a thrilling sport. You never really master it. There's all kinds of nuances to it. You can feel it through your hands, through your feet, and the sail rattling. The, you can smell the ice every now and then when it's flying at you. And if you get a chunk in your mouth, you get a good taste of it. You'll see a trail of ice chips coming off of the blades and blowing downwind. When we're sailing, we either want to back off or pass because you're going to be eating as ice dust, as it might be said. Sport is very easy to learn. It's a lot easier to learn how to sail on ice than it is to sail on water. We've taught lots and lots of people how to sail and they typically pick it up within an hour. They start to catch on and they get this big old grin. We're always looking to, as we call it, hook new addicts. <laughs> you know, there are, are commercial units available. Um, if a person wants to learn how to build one, I'll teach them how to build one. We use windsurfing sails and mass. For the, for the power. I have not fallen through the ice while I was sailing. I've gone through the ice at the edge of a lake, just up to my, through the knee, you know, and it is cold. So these are self-rescue picks, and the principle behind them is if you go in, instead of trying to slide yourself up onto the ice, you take these and you stick them in the ice and then you can lunge yourself up out of the hole. So finding glass smooth ice is a rarity. I mean, I can, you might get that once a season, if at all. But when you do, it's, it's just magic.